Reynolds Road and Gravel Wheels Tubeless Setup. Before you begin, ensure the rim is in good condition with no bends, cracks, or damage. Ensure the factory installed rim tape is securely in place and not damaged. Ensure the tires are designed for tubeless use. Ensure the Presto valve stem assembly is the right length to fit the rim profile and know the maximum pressure for the rim and tire and don't exceed the lower of the two. Start by removing the locking nut and rubber washer from the valve stem. Insert the valve into the valve stem hole in the rim. Install the rubber washer and slide it all the way down to the rim. Install the locking nut by spinning it clockwise. Hand tighten the nut. There's no need to use a wrench. Apply pressure to the rubber base of the valve stem as you tighten the locking nut. This creates a good seal between the rim and base of the stem. Lay the wheel on a clean surface. Be careful to not damage the brake rotor if one is installed. Lay the tire on the rim. Take note of the correct tire rotation direction. It's customary to line up the tire branding label with the valve stem. Begin working the lower tire bead onto the rim. That bead should rest between the lower rim wall and valve stem. Start opposite of the valve stem and work the upper bead onto the rim. As you work toward the valve stem from both sides, continue to squeeze the tire beads together so they rest in the lowest part of the valley between the rim walls. This method creates the most slack in the diameter of the tire bead and makes it easier to install the tire by hand. Use your thumbs and palms to roll the tire over the outside of the rim and into place. You're ready to seat the bead on the rim. Open the valve and begin inflating the tire. When using a compressor, make sure it's regulated to not exceed the maximum pressure of the rim. Refer to this chart at HayesBicycle.com. Pay careful attention to wheel type or series and the tire width. You may need to remove the valve core when inflating the tire. This allows more air volume at a higher rate. Watch and listen as the tire inflates. You will see the tire work out into the bead and you may hear the tire pop into place. Check the tire to ensure the beads are seated on both sides. Remove the air source and deflate the tire. Remove the valve core if it's still installed. Refer to your sealant instructions and add the appropriate volume to the tire through the valve stem. Be careful to not break the bead away from the rim. Reinstall the valve core. Inflate the tire. Hold the wheel upright and shake it. Spin it and continue shaking it until you've rotated the tire at least two times. This distributes the sealant throughout the rim and the inside of the tire. You have completed the tubeless tire install for Reynolds Road and Gravel Wheels. Continue to our YouTube channel and HayesBicycle.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Reynolds.